Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Big Dirty. How you guys doing today? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for asking, you guys. I got a special, special episode today. Uh, this is the bro, so stop being perverts, okay? You can't do that here. Not to the, not this episode. Everyone calm down, relax. Oh, bro, say hi. Hey, everybody. Big Dirty bro in the house. Sprinkle some respect. We got this video, Test to Play on Men. So this is a video that's been going around TikTok, and apparently it was like... TikTok famous. Basically, this woman is saying this is tests to check whether or not a suitor is worthy of her time. Hmm, indeed. Suitor in the age of the 2022. So, um, let's take a look as what her guidelines are for how to choose and test a potential mate. Hmm, indeed. Okay, enjoy! I'm going to be able to provide and- Oh, I don't have my headphones on. Oh. Here are some tests that I play on men in order to see if they're going to be able to provide and protect me. Because if they're not, I don't fucking need them. And you shouldn't either. Thing first, him paying for the date. Let's just stop this conversation in the back and forth. 50-50, the bullshit. First date, he needs to be paying. 100%. And if he's not, then like, goodbye. Comes with an example. This weekend, I went out to the bar in Miami and I ran into someone that I had been following on Instagram. So we hung out for most of the night and then as we were leaving, we both had Ubers going separate. His Uber came first and he's like, oh no, I'll wait for you. Me, in my head, I'm like, oh no, like you don't have to wait for me. Being kind, whatever. And this man gets into his Uber and takes off. It is 4 a.m. in Miami, Florida, where no good is to come. Everything is shut down and I'm standing by myself in the middle of the fucking street. Immediately no. Immediately no. If you don't care about my safety and making sure that I get into my Uber safely, you're done. You're done for. Right. Okay, what do you think? I have a lot of issues with her, or right off the bat. Seriously? Yes, I have a lot of issues with her. Okay, I'll, let's Can see. Can we start you... with the paying for the date situ situation? Yes, please. Look, I have no problem asking a man to pay for the date. Can I, just from a man's perspective, can I say something? No, you can say. It's hard to make money now. It's okay. hard to make money. And it's Everybody's hard struggling. to Hold make on, money. Let, me, let me finish though. Everybody's struggling. Well, I mean, if he's asking her out, he better pay for the date. No, 100%. All I'm saying is, it come, I, I'm just not getting a good fee vibe from her. Well, forget about the vibe you get from her. But right. What she's saying isn't wrong. No, for the date situation? Yeah, no, it's not. she said first date. You better pay. Right. I 100% agree uh -huh. with the fact that you should wait for the girl to get her cab first to make her yes. safe because it's at night and it's dangerous for a yes. woman. Unless the woman tells you, no, go. No. Let, I me, let me say the why though, right? Okay. We're not mind readers. <laughs> but you don't have to be a mind reader. You look, here's the thing. When I, for example, I have went on dates where... A man will drop me off to my house and he will not wait to make sure that I went inside safely. Now, now I am not in the middle of the street somewhere at 4 a.m. I am in front of my house in the evening and he doesn't wait for me to go inside. That's a that's a no, no. Really? Hell yes. You need to make sure I am safe. What about what about if he drops you off and, you, and then you tell him, OK, you can go before you go into the house? Okay, you can go, but then I'm going to watch to see what your actions are. Do you care enough to be like, no, I need to make sure that but you're you safe. Under, but here's, here's, here's where I think there's a huge disconnect. Maybe these are really good, old-fashioned values that we, I 100% agree are and good. And she was being polite. I, I get it, but here's the thing. Please, like, Do you understand also how this can come off as a little creepy? Meaning what, all right? I wait, you tell me what seem, or you know, you can go, right? Please, you can go. Uh -huh. And I say, no, I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna wait for you. Well, uh -huh. let me tell you where, where men are coming off of, right? Okay. We can come off as creepy for that. We can come off as desperate for it. We can come off as clingy, or what if she really means it? She doesn't want you around. He didn't control who came first, right? Okay, yeah. He's got a cab now. Right. <laughs> it's here. It's there. The He's asked, there. do you want me to wait? Yes. She says, no, you can no, go. No, she said, no, it's fine. You can go. Okay. Because she actually seems really nice. She's saying, no, you know what? It's 4 a.m. You can just so go ahead and it, go home. So here's, again, here's the disconnect, right? She says, no, you can go, right? You're asking a man to read her mind and you try to figure out. You don't got to read a mind. It's not about mind reading. It's about character. Do you care enough about this woman 
who you went on a date with, who could be a potential girlfriend. And it's about to see how this man is going to treat you if you're his girlfriend. So when we date, what do we do? We're trying to see who this person is. What is your character like? Do you care enough, even if I say something, to have my best interest? Now, I'm not telling you to, you know, wait and follow me with the Uber back home. It's simple. Hey, oh, your Uber came? No, it's okay. You can go. No, I insist. It's 4 a.m. It's really late. We're in the middle of the city in Miami. It's re- anything can happen. I, I'll wait with you until your Uber gets here. Why? Okay, so here's, here's the thing. Why is it so hard for women then just to say, actually, can you just wait for me? I can wait. She said, no, you can go. He said, okay, I understand. I'll go because he respects you. He respects, hold, hold, let me say, he yeah, respects you. that you're you're a woman who's strong enough for her own words. If she says, no, you can go, that means, no, you got to go. No, just she like didn't she say says, you I have would like- to go. She didn't say you have to go. No, leave. She didn't say that. She didn't say you have to leave. I don't know. I feel like personally, women should be able to say what they mean. Not give tricky words like, it's "Hey, not. are you?" She's giving because him an option. Vibe, no, you, it's okay. You the vibe that go. I'm getting from her: is that if you date her, you're gonna get a lot of tests, no. and she's someone who could create drama just to see how you're gonna be tested. Well, what is dating? Aren't you seeing who the person is that's in front of you? And it's why do you have to look at it as tests, right? Even though she does use this wording, so I don't agree with the wording. But her aside, I think dating in general, yeah, you're going to see the other person in scenarios and see how they are. What is the point? Here's the thing. If you're dating someone and you give them the cheat sheet, quote unquote, to how you want to be treated, then how do you know if they're actually like that or they're just doing that to get in your pants or to get you to date them more? The whole idea is to let me see how you behave. Let me observe how you act, right? And it doesn't mean that you play tricks or do anything on them, but you just want to see, I'm not going to tell you everything about what I want or what I expect. I want to see what your character okay, is like. Okay, I, I 100% agree, but here's the thing. If she hadn't said anything... If she just said he, the car came and he said, actually, I want to wait for you. And she said, OK, I 100 percent agree. That's a character test. You just found out what kind of man he is. But for you to, to take it to the next step and say, no, you can go. Right. That's where this whole disconnect, because you told him, because here's the thing. I can go out with a girl. How do I know that she actually wants me to pay for her date? She doesn't want you to control. Every woman is different. That's right. why women need to communicate. Right. You're an adult. OK. All right. We take your word seriously. All right. Outside of the context of 4 a.m. in Miami, I will say yes to everything. Every time a woman tells you something, yes, I'm wi- listen to her. There are some situations, though. There are some situations where if you're really interested in this lady, maybe play up the chivalrous card a little bit. Look, I think we disagree on her. I, I really think we disagree <laughs> on this point. I'm not saying a man shouldn't wait. I'm saying if a woman tells you that she's not comfortable with you waiting or that she's not comfortable with you paying, we need to listen to them. That's my perspective. If she's playing games and testing, get out. And then if you don't go ahead and double check, I made it safely, bye. This man failed my protection test, so he never heard from me again. Men, you need to be walking her to her car, to her Uber, to wherever to make sure she gets home safely. And then text her, making sure she gets home safely. Like, this could actually save your ass. You realize you're the last person she's seen with. If she goes missing, another inviting Yo, test that I do oh, is... Is... Come on, come on, this is crazy. Yo, that's my girl right <laughs> No, I'm just playing. Yo, come on. You want me to walk you, mm-hmm. wait for you, open the door for you, get in, please, princess, right? Mm-hmm. And then when you when you drive off, you're not going to even have the kindness to, to write to thank you for a great she day. She didn't say that. You want no. no, 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 she didn't say that. She never said that she wasn't going to text you. She just said, I want you to text me to make sure that I made it home safely. OK, I, I agree. But I think in her perspective, she's not going to text you first. You don't think so? No, she's going to make you then she's going to she's not text. I'm testing him. I want to find out what kind of man he is. After all that, you know what I'm going to think from my perspective as mm-hmm. a man, mm-hmm. right? If I did all this and you don't even text me and say thank you for the great dates. After all that she work that I put in, let me, she let me wasn't finish. Gonna text you. But, but let me finish, right? If all that, and she didn't even say thank you for the great dates and all that, and you're waiting for me to say, hey, are you home still? I'm bailing. I'm gonna say this girl doesn't like me. <laughs> Maybe she does like me, but all her, all the signals that I'm getting from the girl is she's clearly not interested in me. Right. 
I asked, uh, hey, can I wait? My car came. Can I wait? No, no, no. It's fine. You can go. No, I can wait. In my head, when you say no, you can go, even though like you know it's late at night, right. it feels like you're making. I'm. I guess I'm making you uncomfortable. Right. Right. Then after I wait, I force you. I, like let's say I go that route. I force myself to stay. Like I'm forcing. Right. You no, know, I'm staying. I'm your protector. I'm bodyguard. Then you get in the cab, and I don't even hear. Thank you. For, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna make her uncomfortable. Look, I, I will. I will agree. At- Everything aside, I will agree. Communication is always better than anything. Her communication <laughs> is non-existent. That's, that's what I'm saying. I will always say, I will always agree that communication is always better. Mm-hmm. It's always better to say what you mean and what you want. And instead of playing any games, because then you both lose. But I will say this. If I, I don't think as a female that we have to write everything out. I'm not saying you need to play games, but I'm also not going to, you know, detail, let you know everything I expect. I need to see if you're a man. I'm not want to date no boy. I don't want to date a child. And let's be real. Men play games just as much. Men play just as many games and it's exhausting and it's not worth it. So I get it. I get it from the whole not wanting to deal with the mind games thing. The only part, point I will agree with her is that no matter how good the date was, if a man does not check on me and make sure that I either made it home safe or wait to make sure that I go inside or anything like that, assuming you went out with like a normal female, nothing, nothing crazy, then yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested. Uh, playing games, yeah, that, it's not smart. If she's going into it with that intention, like, oh, I'm going to test this man, then no. But if it's just, hey, that's just how kind of things worked out. And he didn't really seem to care whether or not I made it home safe or didn't really text me to check or, you know, if we're texting back and forth and he didn't even text. By the way, us females, we realize, we, we make note of, you know. I, I get it. I can clearly see her communication is extremely poor, if not non-existent. So if your communication is horrible, don't expect a man's communication towards you to be good. From the vibes right. and the way she's talking about it, right. her communication is non-existent. Well, you know but again, why she's TikTok. probably like this is because she's been with plenty of fuckboys. I'm sorry. It is what it is. We live in a generation and an age where men don't act like men. Some of men do. If I could show you guys the conversations I have with these grown ass men on freaking Hinge, it's unbelievable. It's like, is this for real right now? And outside of Hinge, even people I meet, I'm not saying that she has no flaws or, or us women, we don't have any, you know, drawbacks of our own. Mm-hmm. But maybe think about why she's gotten to this point. It could be backfiring because of all this like overly women can do it all where we don't, we don't need a man. We don't need a man. We don't need a man. But damn, you know, we kind of still want to feel like a woman. So I don't know. That could be it. I could be wrong. She could be a complete narcissist. So I don't know. But that's, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I feel like I, I kind of get her a little bit. When we're out, if you have like a jacket on or like some kind of like over shirt, I will always, without a doubt, say that I'm cold. Because I want to see if you will give me the shirt off your back. And if you don't, you're dead to me. Okay, this is And much. then if you do, I won't take it because... Hose don't get cold. Here are some tests that I play on men in order to see if they're- What did she say the end? Could you, could you reset that? She should say hose don't get cold. And if you do, I won't take it because hose don't get cold. Here are some tests that I play on- I was trying to protect- I was I'm trying, trying to, to tell you the girl you. psycho, yo. I was trying to be on, on team Gabby. Oh, girl, you just killed it. I, I'm telling you. Oh, girl. Big Daddy Momo, you don't know some of these women. The crazy majority, 99% of women are amazing, right? In my perspective. But she crazy. <laughs> I, I I was kind of like I was I was kind of like, oh my, I, like I got the vibe I because I've experienced a lot of women I get vibe crazy real quick <laughs> real she quick she really me. killed it for me I, I was like, she I, was like girl, I got your back like I I see what you're saying like can, can we just dissect what you just said oh that was she said bad. if I see that, that you're bad. wearing a little over right she's gonna say oh I'm, I'm cold right and she expects you to to that's really really pushing it right you got to communicate. Just say, hey, I'm cool. Can I take your jacket? You know, no man's going to be like, yo, that was my. If the man says, honestly, in my opinion, if the man says, no, you can't take my jacket. Then he's a no. Yeah, you no. Know. That's a. But if you're expecting but how many signals. Cold. What if he's cold too? Yeah, what if he's cold? Or how about this? <laughs> how many tests are you giving the guy after the one, after the other, after the other, after but the other? Here's, honestly, I think that's where she lost me, where she was like, I'm not going to even take it. I'm like, OK, like. If you want to play, and there's a I, lot I'm not of, for playing these mm-hmm. games, but if you're going to do it, 
then actually commit to the act, right? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. don't, like, be like, no, never mind, I don't want it. No, like, Because imagine... hoes don't get cold. Like, yeah. also, why are you referring to yourself as a hoe? Like, what is she this? is. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but it the... just completely wiped out everything I was saying about her wanting to be, like, a lady, and she's dating all these fuckboys, and I'm like, well, She I mean, seems like a... A hoe! Yeah. <laughs> so I guess they come together, you know? Don't, don't be looking for a gentleman if you're acting like something else. And same right, thing, don't be right. an F-boy... And be looking for a lady if you're acting like an F boy. But yeah. all I'm saying is, do you notice how many times she's saying no? Yeah. You know, she says no to everything. So how am I supposed to take your word seriously? If you, if I, hey, do you want the jacket? You say no. Am I supposed to force it on you? No, no, you take the jacket. You take the jacket. <laughs> then when it, when it comes to the end of the date, hey, do you want me to wait? No. Right. Then I go. Then this is the time that she actually right, means right. yes. You know, now she's looking for a super Look, villain. She's not looking for I a man. I still stand by. The points I brought up, just not with this scenario. One thousand you know percent. I mean? Your like, merit is yeah, right on point. Yeah, that's what, what you're I'm, expecting is yeah. correct, but her communication is non-existent. And and by the end, I was trying to hope that she wasn't playing games. It kind of just seemed, especially at the end there, no, that last that part. last one. Just, <laughs> oh my god! I, could, I can't. I was like, all right, now that's where I tap. Like that's that's where I'm tapping out. Um, all I'm saying at the end of this is for everybody watching. Open your communication up. You're losing out on a lot of people doing tests. Don't test. Be For you. sure. Be open. For say sure. Say what you want and mean say what you say. Say what you want. Yeah. Right? Because all these little tests is something for high schoolers. I would rather, much rather a man, and I'm sure you men would much rather a female just say what you what, sh- what they want, whether, hey, I like you. Hey, I want to go on a date. Hey, I want your jacket. Hey, whatever it is. It's always so much more attractive to be forward. And you can say it in a nice way, right? Like, you don't got to be demanding about it. Like, you don't got to do this or that. But playing games is always a turnoff. Let me tell you something. No man in the world. It's always a turnoff. No man in the world. No man I've ever... I have encountered a lot of people. No man in the world, if you ask him for something, is going to say no. Especially if you're a woman, right? Right. Can I get your jacket? I'm cold. Of course, you got it. Can you wait for me? Of course, no worries. No man, can you pay? Are you paying for? Of course, any man that who doesn't do that in a date that he asks you out for is a man not worthy of your time. Right, right. But at the same token, a man's time is also valuable. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That was crazy, though. That was crazy. There was a lot to unpack there. Woo, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and let me know if you always wait to make sure that the lady gets home safely or not. If you're like, hey. We in 2022, men and women are the same. Fight off your own thugs and you dip. I hope not. But uh, (laughs) yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. What we said, what I've said, what the bro said. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out my socials below and come through on Instagram. That's where I'm most active and I post quite a bit. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I also do UFC reactions and I'm live for fight nights right here on Saturday nights. Um, And be sure to also check out my Twitch. I do video games and live gameplay as well. Ooh, there's a lot. Last but not least, I am on Patreon. It's just $5 a month. And this month I'm starting uh, movie reactions on there as well. On that note, I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.